Skate Toast is episode number 92, brought to you by olddudeskateco.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Skatosis. I'm one of your hosts, Drew Domkus. I'm the other guy, Aaron Monty. Talk more into the front of the mic. We're trying to share a mic We're, on that I'm guy's to side. Share a mic. We're trying to see how close these two a guys are. A friend of mine get. is here. Yeah, we've got Cole Balthazar in the house. How's it going? How do you pronounce that, Aaron? Uh, Cole ba- Brazil, ba- <laughs> Baba Babadouche. <laughs> Baba Booey. <laughs> and so it is go, go skateboarding day today and so we're here recording on a beautiful thursday it's about to it's rain not that beautiful and we're about to, it's about to rain where we're at so we're going to try to record a session i mean record a show go do a little session in the barn and then drive north to oshkosh to beat the rain yeah and skate some more right is Me that the plan we're planning on going to madison yeah that i mean i wanted to go but and it's it nothing but rain there yeah yeah so you got an indoor park out there we no, could go to Cream. I guess there used to could be. Could go Cream City. Cole told me this morning there used to be a seasons. Really, like yeah. a four seasons? Yeah, there used to be four seasons. Yeah. Oh. Well, welcome to the show, Cole. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I never got that intro. By the way, I've done ninety-two of these shows, and, and Cole gets one day. Aaron Monty, cricket, cricket. <laughs> you didn't even need to make the sound. I knew it was going to be. One. <laughs> oh man, ninety-two shows. Is that wild or what? Yeah. Good that job, buddy. Good. Thanks, dude. Yeah. So, okay, so Cole, have you heard the show before? I have, yeah. You have listened to the show? Yeah. What do you think of the name? I got to get an honest opinion from like a listener. Old Dude in general? No, no, not Old Dude Skate Co. I like. That's got its own little vibe, but yeah. Skatosis, the Skatosis. podcast. I mean, I like it. I couldn't really. Yeah? Yeah, you know, I can't think of anything. That was the thing. It's so hard to come up with a name, you know? We were, t- we were in the car when we first started, the- before we started the show, we were... It was that day that I got uh, burned on doing that wave jet. Remember that thing? I was going to ride that thing with the. Oh, it was a wow, water. That was a long time. Dude, a wa- long time ago. That, yeah. Water pack. My wife got me this Groupon to go down to the lake, Lake Geneva, put on a backpack with water jets, and I was going to go ride the lake for whatever it was. Going to get a lesson. It's going to be so cool. Drove all the way down to Lake Geneva to find out that dude got in, like had some like emergency and had to go to the hospital the night before and didn't call us. And so we're in Lake Geneva with nothing to do. And so we hit that little park there. Mm-hmm. And during the drive or drive after, there was something. I think you forgot your headphones or something. And we were talking about, remember, we had to drive back to go get your headphones. Yes, I do remember. And I believe it was in that stretch when I came up with the word skatosis. Because mm-hmm. we just kept talking about skateboarding. I think we were driving my wife crazy. And it was just like, yeah, we got skatosis. We can't stop talking about skateboarding. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And you, and you have a pattern of it's a port- smashing portmanteau. words. Yeah. Portmanteau is the word. It's yeah. it's the con- it's a condition, man. Together. It really is. It's, I, it's it's hard for people though when it's when it's a crazy word. It is. It's yeah. weird. You know why? Because if you look at it, it looks doesn't look like what it says. Sorta. Cole, did you know how to spell it the first time you heard it? Yeah, I uh, almost won the national spelling bee as a kid. Actually. So. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I knew this is how the show was gonna go. <laughs> see, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to help you. Uh, become a better friend to your friend. Mm-hmm. You're learning more about him. Mm-hmm. If I knew know this is, name. I I knew it started with a B. So <laughs> give me a break. Oh, how about <laughs> let's say, how, Aaron? How about you spell his last name? <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> worse. Just try your best. Oh my god, I didn't win. I you think know I what? could do it. I actually got out first in spelling bees in school. <laughs> so this is insulting. This is offensive. <laughs> Go skate there. B R. E. Well, hold on, say it first before you try to. Oh, I'm not gonna say it for no. Fuck that. See, this is how I got kicked out of spelling bees <laughs> and follow the rules. Uh, no rules. No rules. Yeah, that was a long time ago. We had a party and uh, Aaron got pretty hammered and we all drew on him. Really drunk. But the the the. There is pictures. The, on the, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of them. But like the main phrase of that weekend was no rules, but like K N O W. R U L Z, so you could fit on your knuckles. No rules. Oh, was it the knuckles? I think yeah. the f- my first thought was a tramp stamp of it because I thought, and I thought it was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if like you didn't see and it was spelled K N O W? 
You know, but it was because it, yeah, it was because yeah. it was four and four. See, I was so wasted. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, At one man. point, I had a beer belt on, and I was drinking like <laughs> seven beers in an hour. Dude, it, it was. was just, like, dude, it was good. awesome. It was, I had a great time that weekend. You were such a trooper. Like he had Sharpie on his face, and we went to House on the Rock the next day, and he couldn't get it all off, but he was still trying to hit on the girls there. I, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I may give you hard times sometimes, but man. At I, least you didn't write on me, though. I did not. Yeah. So I tried to keep nice. people from doing it, but every time I came up to you, you had more. You had another dick on your face. You had there just like, a mustache. You had, yeah. yeah. But I did not. Nope. That was, the fir- that was the first year like that I was actually like ingrained in. It was, yeah. Yeah. We have big parties here. We had, uh, we had a buddy one time who got pretty much that hammer at a party. He was passed out, and we uh, actually colored his lips all black oh. with a Sharpie. <laughs> it's completely. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Oh, that lasts a long time. <laughs> Skater Steven? Yep. Skater Steven. Yep. Shout now, out. Now it's kind of funny. Shout out to Skater Steven. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know who it is. Right? Speaking of uh, shout outs, dude, I wanted to show you something here. I'm going to my Instagram account and I'm going to the Skatosis podcast account because I got an awesome message the other day from pusher underscore SSB. And I think I sent you. Did I? I might have sent you a screenshot. Maybe I held back because I wanted to read it to you. Okay. But uh, he sent me this video clip, and dude, I started looking through their clips, and like he's got another crew. You know, it's just crews, pockets of skaters all over the place, right? Where's he from? Uh, it's oceans. Oh, was it? Let me look and see. It says Orange, California. So like a Disneylandish area. Oh, okay. So, so south, I'm- south of LA, yeah, in Orange. Is the is the town okay. or the county? I think, but o- it's orange? probably the town. Orange. Orange. There used to be tons of orange groves out there. Mm. But so he sends me this clip, and I was like, "Dude, really good at it." And he he played a really good song on it too. Mm-hmm. And so then he's like, "Thanks, Drew and Aaron. Love the show. When's the next upload?" I was like, "Oh, it's like all of a sudden it's cool to hear from a listener." Yeah. You know. Yeah, for sure. And so we start going back and forth, and he was just like, "I was saying what you know why we hadn't gotten a show out." He's like, "Thanks for listening." Blah blah blah, and then um. So then I just want to read this one part. He says he's listened to every skatosis. Wow. He forgets sometimes that it's just me and you running this whole thing. And that, <laughs> I do have multiple personalities. <laughs> and that if there isn't a show by Tuesday, he starts to worry. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. That's so Isn't nice. that cool? Yeah. So it's like it's that kind of yeah, like. Sometimes we don't know. It's that kind of feedback that just kind of sparks that, that, that feeling. of just like, damn, it's like I want to sit in here and talk skateboarding with you. I know. 92 shows later. It's, it's different when we're in the car trying to do it at a skate park because it's just, it sounds different. It's just not the same of us just like kind of being captive here in front of a mic where we, all we can do is talk about it. Because like you're at a skate park, I'm like, all of a sudden we're watching somebody skate. Yeah. We yeah, tried to do it in the barn. It was like impossible. In the barn was, oh yeah. Impossible because all of a sudden Jake's going off the you rafter or something. Yelling. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that audio music. yeah, I don't think I did anything with it. But so I just wanted to give a big shout out, Pusher. Underscore SSB. Thank you so Congrats. much Thanks, for uh, for all that, dude. And so here's your show. This one I dedicate to you. Go Skate Day. Is Cole. Cole, shut up just for you. Cole Skate Day. Cole Skate Day. <laughs> there you go. Don't, don't See, that's the guy. Portman too right there working. It's just always on. I, know, it I just mix stopped. it up. It never, it's a curse. I swear it's a curse. <laughs> I hold them back sometimes, and then it's just like I say them later. It's just because it's just like I got to get it. More and more. Uh, yeah. It's, my wife hates it, but then she now does it. It's t- it's it's really terrible. Mm-hmm. I don't I know never claim that any of them are good. Some are, but I I know some are pretty I, good. I know I've, I've that most, but boys. I know that most of them suck. Yeah, they're bad. They're pretty bad. But it's it's I, like I got to purge them. I got rhyme. My I rhyme. Do you? I'll just like randomly throw out rhymes. And now my girlfriend does it all See? the time. It's it a bit of a Tourette, maybe. Yeah, you know, it's a little ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get it. Do you ever watch the show Jake and Amir? No. The YouTube. Ch- no. Is that they, two people they, they, or is that yeah, Jake in two... front of Amir? <laughs> His name is uh, A M I R. They they did a show for College Humor for a long time, and it's just like both of them kind of bring out like the worst kind of person, right? And there is one where he does like he rhymes every word, oh, and yeah. the guy like it's kind of like the funny man and the straight man. Sure, sure. There's a lot good. of good shows like that. Uh, sp- uh, Spen. Oh, Spen and... Oh, I, I'm going to blow it. There's these two guys that do this video show. Sp- Spen and something. At least I remember my name. <sighs> Hilarious. Uh, I'll, I'll try to remember <laughs> it. Spen and Lemmy? Spen and... Sen- oh. All right. While you think about yeah, it. Forget before it. we started so, dude, this... Skateboard. We, were talking, we were talking about, about shoes. shoes. We were talking about shoes. And because you're talking about your work does not let you wear Crocs. Yeah. But I wonder if they meant specifically those, the Croc, the, the 
stylized croc you so think we, of. Well, we went onto the webpage. Yeah, because they got some crocs that they look got like actual shoes. shoes. Yeah, that look cool. I mean, I would. I mean, and then we got this the, the is a skating ones. podcast, so I would. I don't think I would ever wear them skating. I right, think they'd be right, trash right, right. For skating. But so we were talking about shoes, and because I did wear some crocs for skating that were stretch soled, but they had uh, one of the pictures on their website was a dude on a skateboard. Oh, you know, putting his foot down on the skateboard with this new shoe. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, you got a skate shoe. You know, it wasn't skating. He's just kind of putting his foot on it. Mm-hmm. So then I bought him and like the first Ollie, all the, sh- all the threads. I'm like, oh, this is no skate shoe. Mm-hmm. So then I, you know, I skated in them and then I sent him pictures and I sent him this thing, but they were just like, oh, we don't really make them anymore. That's not, we didn't really intend it to be that extreme of a shoe. I was like, all right, well. You still made them though. They sent me another pair. Oh. I was like, oh, love you. I was like, all right, I just won't skate in them. Did they rip? They didn't completely rip. It's just some of the... Actually, they weren't that bad. I still have them. You didn't skate the new ones. No, I didn't skate the new ones. I just ended up using those for work. And so, like, they're nice shoes. They're just really not meant to skate. skate. Yeah, they don't make... They don't make an official skate. Although I do skate in my other regular croc sometimes. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, you do. Not that it's easy, but... How does that feel, though? It's slipping. My foot's... Dude, my foot's moving around in there. Yeah, it's not that easy. But you got... It feels soft, like... It's just cushion. It's it's like you're standing on a mat, like a work mat. Mm-hmm. These are kind of. It's similar. Yeah. But those ones kind of formed your foot, and you know, I don't know. They're ugly but comfortable shoes. Yeah. But now I'm looking. They've got a new style. Crocs got a new style of looks like athletic almost for their traditional style Croc. Mm-hmm. But then they've also got another couple of like real pairs of shoes that look pretty decent. And they got a pair with flames on them. So yeah. those are pretty. You That's put fire. that Tharsher logo on that. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want Oh, right want there. The... Do you see that black one? Look at those black ones right here. I kind of want... Look at that. Um... The men's light ride pacer. That's like a running shoe. Mm-hmm. But with a croc bed? Yeah, dude, that's... Mal- yeah croc, just lower that's, that price that's for me, nice. though. Yeah, but they'll last a long time. Yeah. So are we trying to like get Croc to make skate shoes? Is that what we're doing? Here? I would love a sponsorship by Crocs. Yeah. Just yeah. just because. Oh, that would be great. And then make skate shoes. Dude, I I I promote Crocs all the people rip on me all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like I don't care. They're, uh, I mean, I'm like you try them and then tell one, me they don't tell me they suck. That people rip on. I know until they, until they try them. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I mean, Cole, you, I swear, you just dude. Said you got a pair. I just I, started. Yeah. Dude, I, I would be a Croc spokesman immediately. I mean, why why not though? Like I got these I got these slides. Right. Because. So I can wear them after skating. So right. like my feet feel good. Yeah, Why but you wear socks wear with them, and that's the big thing that people are gonna rip on. Is put socks and sandals. It's like a no no. You're blowing it. Yeah. It's like push and mongo. This looks, dude. This it's looks like so put, fresh. It's, it's if you. This is audio, but if you could <laughs> see me right now. Oh, I, oh I'm go to the website. Good. I got a photo to show it's you. Equivalent. <laughs> it's, what you're doing with the socks and sandals is equivalent to stepping off and popping a no comply with your opposite foot. Yeah, but he does. How that. dare he, you? He does that with pride, though. That's so. so un- no, not with pride. <laughs> Fuck. No, I wish, not with no, pride. I wish, dude, you own that people, trick. Own it. I do it because that one's like. Dude, be proud of that because that's hard. Yeah, it might not. You just cool can't be a no. Looks, compl- looks, it's just not a no it, comply. If all. I could no comply too, then I'd be like. So learn oh, it. You can do whatever you want. Fuck. You can do whatever I you want. Even brought this up. You shouldn't have. <laughs> can't do bonuses either. I know. <laughs> I can't believe how much that blew you away. Dude, I, I've never seen you do like a boneless. A, dude, I'll do six. I'll oh. do six. <laughs> but you hear it right now. Backside, frontside. I, I, dude, I can do a backside. Nice on transition. I learned backside. Boneless is over the hip. Nice. Uh, Scott Skate Park, actually. Oh, that's a decent so you hip. Like, Damn. You're like boneless, and then you got to shift your backside, I guess you could say. Mm, backside is uh, you jump, and the board is already behind your foot. Backside boneless. Oh, that's that's a slob okay. plant. No, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I was actually talking about like a. That's like, like a, a foot plant. Yeah, well, like a boneless, but then a back 180, I guess. Depends on your foot is if it's a called a boneless. Right. Because you might be talking fast plant. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't. You can do fast plants. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that with your? That's your other foot. I was mm-hmm. like, no, that's like no, when you're. No, that's still your left foot because I knew. F- well, it's your back foot stays in the ground, and you grab this way. Right. Whereas a boneless, your front foot. Oh, I've just been grabbing them. I right? think I was grabbing yeah, them. Your, your back foot stays. Your back foot stays on the board on a boneless for both. Y- yeah, fast plants are when your back foot comes off. Right? Correct. Yeah, those are way harder. Yeah, definitely. See, I can do that. I can do fast plant, and I can do. So is the other one just slob plant if you grab there, it's the a wrong variation hand? of a fast plant. But yes, yeah, slob it depends probably, on how you grab. Yeah. Okay. So I could do slob so you're doing plant a slob and now plant. I can do fast plants. Because I, I, I can you? grab indie. Nice. Now. Yeah. Did you see the bonus You saw did you see the fact foot? files for on ETN for this this week, I think is the new show? No, I did I did it work? Yeah. I what? tried I tried watching it so many different times and it oh, said I saw this it. feed is out. It like it won't 
were you, maybe your Wi-Fi was out or your signal. No, because everything else. Oh, like, I saw that. No, I, I saw that whole show. show. Yeah, the I whole don't... first episode. I'll try. I'll try again today. Anyways, there's a whole fact file at the end, mm -hmm. like a uh, not a trick tip, but they're just trying to you know lay down some truth, mm -hmm. and it's all about the indie grab being. There's a front side air. Oh, I saw that. I saw yeah, that clip. Yeah. Yeah. So that was at the end of that episode. Okay. Where it's like there's no such thing as it's a front side indie. It's a front side indie air. Backside. A front side air has so got to be. I'm not doing an indie. No. When I you're asked you before. That's no. I kept telling you, indie only exists in if you're going backside. But on tran so on transition. Wonder if you're going off a kicker. Is that still front side no, air? It all depends. It's like, are you on a scooter, on a bike? Everything. I'm everything. never on either of those. <laughs> but I'm just saying anything other than the trick that it was created on. I mean, you've got to have some weird variations. On a ledge is different than on a, so or like you, on a what spine. What would you call that? If you grabbed a, a front side air, like with an indie, what would you call No, what would you call that? It depends. I mean, if you're on transition. I always felt like it would still just be an indie. I guess. It just depends. If you're going straight, I guess it's indie. Right. If you're going like off? I guess if yeah. you're just going straight, but are you turning? That's I mean, it's I it's just a front side grab at that point. Because technically, on transition, if you do like a front side kickflip indie, you know, would that be? Yeah, but see, that's not technically an indie. They call it that. It's technically only an indie if they go backside. Yeah. It would be if you go front side and do that. It's technically a kickflip or heel flip front side. So they should just stop calling it the wrong thing, right? I but don't know. Like it just so depends on how nitpicky you want to be. Yeah. And I hate that I always call that one out for some stupid reason. Yeah, because you were going to call me out on that when I was asking you about it. You were going to call me out on that. I always call the, that one out, but yeah. for whatever, only because I, because I don't know. It's skateboarding is so weird. It's yeah. so love and everybody's friendly and hugs and high fives. But then there's that certain nitpicky part of it that's just like it's kind of weird it's pet peeve. Way. It's like I don't really care, mm -hmm. but it's not an indie if you go front side. You know, it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, they made a whole segment about it. I mean, fair. it could just be front side air, backside air. Grab with your front hand. Grab with the left hand. Grab it. You know, you could get really detailed and specifically mm -hmm. call out what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But at some point, at the very beginning, in the 70s, 80s, somebody called it an indie when you did but it I backside. There are people that are na like if Andrew Reynolds posted something and said indie, he, I would think he would even know that he's going to get some. Like I feel like I've yeah, seen but, him do that trick and post sure. front side air. But like I said, who cares? Yeah, I I, mean, I I piss myself off when I start getting too nitpicky because it's like who cares? This, sh this show is just you hating yourself. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't hate myself at all. I'm just saying it's a weird nitpick that I see in myself sometimes where I'm like, oh, oh you just said that indie and it's like not nah, an indie, but it's do like you think you who do cares? Front side air? But a prop. So the difference in the front side air is that it's got to properly be behind. Your left, your behind your yeah. right leg, yeah, you or else it's called a stink bug. Mm -hmm. If it's between your legs, can, it's stink oh, bug. Oh, I can stink bug. So you wouldn't call that a front side indie stink bug? No, you call it a stink bug. And you wouldn't call it. You've never done it like that? I've never heard, I've never heard the term stink bug. Stink bug oh, is really? if it's between your knees. That, actually, stink bug. And I it's crail a... if it's in front. I, I've heard crail. So crail, crail is up here. Yeah. Stink bug, front stink side. Stink bug, I knew. I got a book from like the school library and tail. as a kid. And stink bug was like the first thing I saw. And then if you're going the other way, lean. Slob, uh, uh, seatbelt. Seatbelt. See, I've always gone off of Tony Hawk's. Yeah, I, I, like, like they're all out there. Yeah, you know, grab, there's different variations. Like nose bone. Totally. Yeah. I mean, that was the big thing. Is that like when the, the the bigger nose came out, it was like Tony's even said it was like it was so easy to grab nose for backside airs, just grab that nose mm -hmm. instead of going method, which is behind your front foot. So that's hard to grab back there. Yeah. We gotta like shit. Yeah, it it's. I mean, that's a that's a that's a a serious bend. You don't really see people do. Actually, a lot of people, man. There's a lot of those five forties are method. Have you seen Elliot? Do you guys follow Elliot he, Sloan? Yes, dude. Is? He's he likes some of my stuff on Instagram. Really? Yeah, he, I've seen him. Oh he's he's chimed in on on ODS account. I don't watch many like. I love trans, watching that guy's like, stuff. Mega ram skaters and stuff like so that. So good. But like, I recently started following him. And dude, I he's got one in his yard. I know his backyard. Is, yeah. Yeah. He's got a bowl. He's you're got a swimming dude. pool. You've and then he's got a bowl. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? One with water, one without. Yeah, <laughs> and then a, a half crazy half pipe. And then the the mega. Yeah. yeah. Speak, speaking of bowls, did you see the X Games this past weekend? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Did you see any of that? The no, men's I finals? No. Oh, I saw, the whole th I saw the whole thing hour and a half. Yeah. What it, a, dude, what a that park, park. Boise, Idaho. Who, Boise, yeah, I had no that? idea that that was that awesome. Yeah. That park is serious. Oh yeah. How oh, far yeah. is Boise from here? Idaho. Uh, oh fuck. I mean, that's going the other way. That's like north of Colorado. So I mean, it might be about the same distance as uh, uh, Louisville. I just, I'm not sure. I think it's gonna be further. How long was Colorado? 
That's uh, 16 hours? Yeah, it's past Colorado, isn't it? I think it's north of it. Past it is like Nevada and then California. Hmm. I don't know. We so could be talking Cal- yeah. our, at our ass because we don't know how to talk, look up <laughs> maps. But uh, We never claim to be good at geography. No, definitely. But let's see how far boys. But we did claim to spell words correctly. <laughs> we did? I never did. Uh, let's see. Directions from here. Do you really Let's see. Dude, I was good. 26 hours. Ouch. I'm, I'm not fronting and saying like I'm 26. as good as I was, but I, yeah, I used to be good. <laughs> I 26. love the confidence. 26 hours. Man, that's further than uh, going. Uh, yeah, that's far. That's yeah. a haul, dude. But it is north and west of Colorado. So we'll, we'll I don't know why we keep using Colorado as like our base. Because you've been there. Because <laughs> it's legal weed, man. <laughs> okay, we were talking about shoes, yeah. right? Oh, for sure. Remember I was telling you that I wanted to get my next pair of shoes. I wanted to go with the Skate High Pro model, mm-hmm. right? Because they've uh, got the Duracap. I'll, they've I'll got the Ultra the Kush. I got, I got it. Okay. Ins- insider trading. Oh, insider. Oh, we got a pair? No, I didn't get a pair. But... Oh, for me? So check it out, though. Uh, I was thinking, what about getting... Uh, Lizzie's m- version. She just came out with her own pro oh. model. Would that be kind of cool to, to rep a girl? Her pro model. It's got flowers on it. Hell but it's, yeah, it's those the, are rad. It's the black black pro model because like that's like her colorway. Yeah, that's yeah. her colorway right there. Yeah, that's like, rad. I was gonna get like a solid black blacked out. Black. I mean, black school. Those too. are cool, but dude, I would love to support Lizzie that way. Yeah, and dude. getting a pro, you know, her pro because I, I got so I got dude, ODS boards for a while. Dude, that girl contest was. Dude, Off those girls are so. Charts. Dude, they're so good. I don't Fucking know why. I mean, it's it's a bummer that they still separate them because some of them are way yeah, better than some of the dudes. In, dude. Yeah, for real. They are fucking. I love though that they have their own thing that they can rep though. That is awesome. SLS has got them. They got their mm-hmm. own ranking in there too now. So mm-hmm. I mean, that is pretty cool. But at the yeah, same time, noticed, it's like man, uh, some of them Leticia are better than the Buf- dudes. Buffoni. Buffoni. Spell her last she's, name. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm bad at last name. <laughs> Spell she, my she's, last name. Dude, she's the Nija of Street League. <laughs> yeah. Leticia? She, oh, yeah, hell yeah. She just will not stop dude, winning. Dude, she's so good. Do you see and she's like, up she and skating already? already? She is skating already. Do you see that Red Bull facility we were talking about before? Like, Did you see her, her she's working getting some, with like, Nike on her live feed? What do you mean? She was doing a thing with Nike. She was doing like interviews and shit. And oh, she yeah. was at like this massive gym, like inside and outside, and mm-hmm. doing like seminars and shit oh i see. Do, do you ever do dude, you watch her getting... live instagram yeah she's yeah. all over the place always like yeah, she's at she's... events her house is crazy cool she's, she's got getting hella ripped hot beautiful people around her like all the time yes yes <laughs> that girl it's, is living she is the, the dream. Nigia. and then she just go back to brazil back and forth pop 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 Nigia, felipe just her buddies just like, like her setting up a new board those... i could not be more jelly that that I mean, must be so crazy, especially coming from Brazil. Mm-hmm. Then just coming to the states and living that life mm-hmm. has got to be so bonkers. And Felipe, and they're both on Plan oh, B. Oh yeah, I mean they got a whole little Brazil. Plan B is Brazil, right? They just didn't know it back then. <laughs> like a Brazilian's gonna get, run that. They just gotta sh- get Luan. <laughs> right? You think he'll flip? No. Oh! oh! <laughs> no, I, I don't think he ever will. No, I hope he doesn't. I don't either, but. Come on, you kind of set me up with that one. I did no, very good. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm thinking about maybe getting, maybe getting some of these. I don't know. I was at Rogan Shoes the other day, and they got like so many of those old like uh, Etnies and DCs, those huge those shoes. I would, I did not them. skate. Osiris. I, yeah, Osiris. I did not. Chunks. I would, I was not skateboarding in the day of those shoes. They just seemed like such tanks. I was skating I, in the day of those shoes, but I never had shoes like that. No, I had a couple pairs of Audios. Really? Like, oh, not, Audios. Not so. Clunky, they were but, audio was but like was, could at you that skate time, yeah, yeah at that time that was the most like slim down shoe mm. you see uh kelly hart lately he's, yeah he's only skating like classic uh xls like s yeah did yeah. you see they well, have a nine club ones. collab yeah did you see that yeah very cool that's pretty cool i like the whole cat i what kind of like got me excited was seeing the catalog like i've done so much print work before uh-huh. i like saw the cat i'm like well that's a nice catalog oh, that's good that's cool <laughs> I'm like, oh good job boys <laughs> right the print you, print lives what what was audio your first pair of shoes 
I think it was my, my first pair. Been, yeah. Right in the maternity ward, they put on some audios. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you slippers. know what I saw at Goodwill? Huh. A really small, and my sisters had a baby, a really small pair of DCs. Mm. <laughs> you should see fresh. the little baby Crocs. Those are cute. Little baby Vans. Yes. Like baby yes. Vans, yeah. um, remember Kelly Orange? Uh-huh. She just had a baby recently. Yeah, wasn't it in Vans? She's got little orange high, she, skate I mean, highs. Little it. baby she skate highs. It. Yeah, orange. Everything in her life is orange. She changed her last name to orange. Pretty insane. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Wow. yeah. She's kind of. She's kind of. She does insane. a pretty cool. I'll though. say it right here. She's insane. She is, but she's awesome. I love Kelly. So, uh, but she showed little, up one time in a hands. penguin costume. Oh yeah. That should tell you. She travels with that sometimes. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she still has it, but it might got trash right now. But I've seen her at so many parties in that, like pictures of her at parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fun. The big shot. And then so wait, the what, one party, was Wiley. She was in the penguin suit. Wiley was in the chicken suit. Remember that? <laughs> Here. No. I don't remember <laughs> no, the chicken fine. suit. I mm. definitely remember the penguin suit. My first pair were uh, the British flag audios. Oh, yeah. And I like hate admitting that now. Because mm-hmm. those the, seem the like. The Jeremy Rays. Mm. Weird Wasn't that like a. Yeah. The like weird mm-hmm. swipe on the side? They, like, took the, they like made the logo a little different. Yeah. I have yeah, so I many pictures. There's pictures of me as a little kid wearing Vans. I wore Vans always. Really? Your whole life. Yeah, I'm like a little kid, and then I seen pictures. My dad posts a lot of pictures on his Flickr account, mm-hmm. like 10, 12, 14, I'm always in Vans. Mm-hmm. So, still skating Vans. Still skating them. Gonna yep. get some Lizzie's. Yeah, so totally. All black man. ones are rad, though. Too. I do, I know. That's, um, you can customize them if you go on there. You can change different panels. You can make your own thing, and I had one all set up with like just a green stripe, all black. I mean, you can do that. It's like an extra 10 bucks or something. It's mm-hmm. probably the same price as hers, because hers are mm-hmm. 80 Whereas Speaking these of, are seventy, you know oh. what I mean. You pay an extra ten. Ho- I like, hopefully, I that really extra ten. Like the Lizzie ones. I hope that extra ten goes right to her. Do you ever skate Converse? Speaking of shoes, I used to wear Chuck Taylors now and then, when I was, you know, maybe high schoolish, mm-hmm. but I never skated in them. You, you know, been? illegal Civ. Um. Uh-huh. Uh, they're at Westchester today. Mm-hmm. They're at that park. They're giving away Converse, like hooked mm-hmm. them. They're giving away free shoes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard of the Stray? The yeah. Stray. Yeah. Dixons? Straight. Yeah. yeah. I've been wanting to get a pair of those. Mm. Those look nice. Just because they're like, I actually don't like. I'm them. afraid to spend money outside of what I'm already know. I don't. I, I, don't the, like oh, I just wanted to try new things. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I've, and you and you love supporting like small things. I love Antoine. I yeah. love Antoine. Too. Oh yeah. So, I have like and really Jamie Thomas and Muska. Right. All those dudes, Brayden Spransky. Speaking of Jamie Thomas and Muska, we were just kind of talking about it before. Thrill of it all. His Jamie Thomas new show, mm-hmm. new YouTube show. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't. Where I you didn't can only see it. on YouTube. Apparently, you can see it on. You can get it on SoundCloud. I guess you can hear it there. Uh-huh. But there's no way to subscribe to that off off of SoundCloud. So it's still a show. But I offered to help them with their RSS feed problems. But um, interesting show. Jamie Thomas. He he could talk. Mm-hmm. Chad Muska. He's an interesting, dude. He mm-hmm. reminds. There's a certain. That's a certain personality right there. Like I've seen that in so many different people. Mm-hmm. Just that ultra creative type. Just kind of. The Muska. The Muska dude, he's awesome, man. I love His it. Brain doesn't stop. Yeah, I love it. It's Gonz ish. Do you remember when he got you know? arrested for graffitiing Starbucks? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I wasn't paying attention to skateboarding then, but I've seen the clips. Mm-hmm. Team Z reported on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He also partied with Paris Hilton. So, <laughs> the Muska. Dude, he's had a crazy, wide, you know, sprawling career. Mm hmm. Very interesting. The, the stuff he's have you seen like the um like the skate sculptures that he does and stuff too? Like he's done a lot of oh, skate so, art. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's a cool dude. I love that kind of person that's just always mm-hmm. creating. Can you do Cole, can you do Muska flips? Uh I did learn him switch at one point. I was it's funny because I was just talking switch. about this uh <laughs> like last week. I learned him switch and I had him really good and I was in my buddy's room trying him on carpet. Yeah. Just like practicing them, sure. and I just exploded my left ankle. Oh. Like just rolled it so bad. I never tried one since. because that's a frontside flip, but it, but it's more day. vertical, yeah. right? Then it goes like under, yeah, 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 yeah. It goes I've through d- your legs. I've right, done, right. I've done it like it, it's kind of like when you screw, not like screw it up, but like. I was like, it just doesn't. Going with this? It screw. just it doesn't flip <laughs> the way you want it. Right. Yeah. I mean, I can't do. I'm. I can. Chris, watch, I can Siani? watch. I can He's watch a good. I can watch a good Muska flip. Mm-hmm. Can't do one, but I can you know watch one. You know what I was one. thinking about? You should try two half cab flips. I you know that sounds a little. No, no, I, could, I would try. I mean, I can. I'm, you know, learning a little bit more flat ground as I get older. Frontside half cab flips. Mm, backside. No, ba- yeah. See, that's another one. Well, yeah, the that's other another one because because uh, a half cab is not frontside. Fakey frontside <laughs> flip is the other one. A half cab well, is a fake. backside fakey 360. That's a half well, cab. No, that's full cab. No, that's full. That's a full cab. I mean, 
It's a t- yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's backside mm-hmm. if you talk to cab. Yeah. But again, you translate it to flat, and you can go either way. Mm-hmm. I mean, people do. F- I call the other one fakey frontside flip. Dude, you seen that guy on uh, Green Issue? What's the guy? The Japanese guy, Shibato. Uh huh. That dude does some gnarly like frontside half cab like to body jar some like he does some gnarly oh, tricks yeah. that are super weird because mm-hmm. he goes the other way Doesn't usually he have a lot of crazy flat ground tricks no not that guy i don't oh. think maybe i'm thinking somebody else yeah no you, you know I'm who thinking are you thinking of, of uh, jason parks jason parks mm-hmm. yeah that guy's not who i'm talking about mm-hmm. i'm talking about gnarly vert rider mm-hmm. that skates right on I, with I bucky went, like flat ground. yeah i know yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. no he does the one where he does like a it's a i think it's a half cab judo no, full cab judo body jar. Or so it's a wow. nar jar. They call it the not the nar Judas jar. These are so cool. You know what I thought was nar always cool? Nar jar is a McTwist to tail. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Oh, I do know who you're But he goes the oh, other way. Three, yeah, yeah, it's the other I way and he kicks mm-hmm. his foot off to to tail. Uh, Kami Bowl. Yeah. The Vans Bowl. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen him skate all over the place. Yeah, that's Shib- insane. Shib- Shibato. I think it's something trail. Shibato. I've been to that bowl. Really? It is. Dude, it's massive. gnarly, right? It's insane, dude. Little 12 year old kids are like killing it. Frontside airing inverts on that thing. See Clay Kreiner clear the gap? I cannot. On the square bowl? I no, the round bowl. The round bowl. I, I just stood there and looked down into it. I can't, yeah. Wow. It's so insane. And then just, the, just that love seat is so big. And then it drops mm-hmm. again to that, goes, that, that pillar, that it, peninsula. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I mean, it, I think that park in Kentucky is in. They make it look so easy. They yeah. just make it look too yeah. easy. And that, and this is the same thing I was saying about fuck trick tips. My <laughs> my body doesn't work like that. I know most. Of, I go. I've watched a bunch of trick tips just to learn a few things, and so it's like some of those are just like, dude, you make it look way too easy. Mm-hmm. You, you know make what it I look still way actually too do? easy. The fir- when somebody told me how to do a kickflip when I was like thirteen, like when I first started, uh-huh. he said he watched. To, like he played Tony Hawk and just like watched over and over the movement. Yeah, I still do that. So, like I <laughs> varial heel. Uh, I played Max and Skate, and he got me on that trick like twice. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I, I, th- I'm like so close to getting. As that. you're trying it at the park, your hands are doing this. You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> the cheek goes. Right. <laughs> I wish I had the oh, cheek goes, dude. Front, front heels too. Yeah. I feel like I'm so close to getting those, but like, it's so close, but yet so far. Try them switch. Do you do a lot of switch tricks? Any- you do, right? Because sometimes when I watch you, I'm like trying to figure out, wait, is he regular or is he goofy? Because then, then I've asked Aaron. He's like, no, he's regular. I'm like, all right. Then I'm looking at your stuff. I'm like, wait a second. That's it. That is switch. It's hard to tell sometimes because you you skate I, you skate really straight up. I don't like to admit it, but uh, when I started skating, I pushed only Mongo. Okay. And oh, a lot here of, it is. A lot of guys started, am, am I airing it out? Shh, let me have it. <laughs> a lot of guys made fun of me and said that my tricks didn't count. But So, so then you just turned around. Yeah, so then I just started, you know, pushing normal, but in the long run, it helped because now I push, yeah. go- you know, I can push goofy. Okay, hey, push. I mean, I have no problem. Do you have a good switch push. Oh yeah. yeah. So here's my <laughs> the confidence here's, in this show. here's my story. I pushed Mongo as a kid before it was a big deal, but right. only because I had such flat feet that my feet would get sore, and we would be skating around town. That's just how we got around. Mm-hmm. So I would go from regular pushing, my foot would get tired, boom, I switch to Mongo. Mm-hmm. I'd switch back, boom, 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 boom. I switch them. I would just switch them all the time. Yeah. I still, when we went to Madison the first time, I saw you doing it. Yeah, because my mm-hmm. feet get sore. Mm-hmm. Amb- ambidextrous. Hence I could, the Crocs. I could, Shout out Crocs. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I could always bat both left and right. I could always play kickball left and right. You see me on that basketball game. I'm always left and right. Mm-hmm. I've can always you, been, but I, but like, I never skate switch. <gasps> you never, never. We played that basketball I, game in a bar the other day, yeah? and I got like seventy. Ooh. I went fucking crazy. Too bad it doesn't count here. Damn it. Uh, JB got 67. I'm never going to get that close. We just bought a Dude. basketball game for downstairs mm-hmm. or in the barn. Yeah, you'll see it. It's like a actual oh, like, like a, two yeah. hoops, count digital. Oh, okay. it's digital? I mean, yeah, yeah. We just got rid of one at the bar that I was Oh, oh really? Yeah. This one is like brand new. It's pretty this fun. This one I bought, yeah, I bought brand new from Goodwill for like 20 bucks. Really? Skateboarding, 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 skateboarding. <laughs> Nobody cares about your Goodwill purchase. <laughs> back that's to the now switch. in my barn. Back to the switch. Yeah, back to the switch. Have you, do you, have you ever tried like switch I've rock tr- to fakies? I've tried a few switch tricks because we end up playing skate and a lot of dudes end up doing switch. So like when I can we do, played Hans. Yeah, dude, that everything was the most turns, difficult. Hans and uh, yeah, and Jake, it, everything turns switch. I'm like, holy crap! But like the only things that I can kind of do switch was I've done a switch rock and roll, mm-hmm. and. Uh, there was, I think, one other one, but most of the time it just seems like a fakey thing to me. I was just watching a clip the other day of you doing that uh, switch Manny switch flip. Not out, but like... The one on the switch. courthouse? On the nightclub? Yeah. <laughs> switch flip, switch Manny. Uh, 
You did a switch Manny on the Manny back to Ashkosh, and then like a switch flip after. Sure, oh, you that got happened. that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was you. on your phone. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, so I was just watching mm. that clip yesterday. Yeah, the switch stuff seems a little crazy, but it's like at the same time, I just don't ever practice it. Right. You know, I just feel Do comfortable. You ever think about a, I was th- I've been thinking about switch late flip. I used to. When, you, you kick with your yeah, right foot. When I was learning switch flips, actually, I, I figured out it was almost easier to just switch Ollie. And then mm-hmm. I landed a couple, like late. Switch late flips. I guess technically you would call it late yeah. flip. But then I just figured out how to pop. Uh, flip. Noah, when I was on that trip with him, Noah learned uh, late heel flips. Mm-hmm. And then I just saw a clip recently that I learned, I think, like backside late flip. <laughs> See, I feel yeah. like that would be a little bit more easier because you're going back 180 and then you could just and then you're, tippy-toe that. I can't that. do it with these, mm. like, nollie flips, though. I can't do it with my other foot. See, I, it I, feels yeah. so bad. I don't spend any time on that kind of stuff. Like, sometimes I'll sit and I'll try to learn nollie. I'll just try to just sit and learn a nollie, and I'm like, damn, I See, just... I can't trade I don't flip, have that. But I can, I can nollie trade flip. You can trade flip. What? I can trade flip, but I... Because you can rather, kick it that way better. Yeah. I'd much rather nollie trade flip. Or yeah. switch trade flip. My switch trade flips are better than my regular. Uh-oh. You, dude. I've same, never same been able You better to contact the bunt. They got a whole switch trade club. <laughs> <laughs> they don't ever respond to me, though. <laughs> I'm not that good. switch trade. No. Yeah, exactly. I can, I can switch shove. That's switch shove and switch that's 180. Just, that's the start. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got nothing like that. I can. That's the only switch ones I get. I can do. And nothing switch, switch on the. Roll. I won't do nothing switch on the on the ramp. What about switch 50 on transition? That probably isn't that crazy. See, I would just think of that as coming up 50. It's like depending well, yeah, on which. Just think of it that. But which yeah, truck but comes wouldn't... first? You kind of got to like. You Your have to feet li- are on the back. <sighs> you're right. Like you're riding switch, and then you're putting this truck on. I understand the concept. Okay. I'm just saying. Switch. Switch front side nose guns. Those are. Doable. You know what kind of trips me out is when a trick becomes switched in the midst of it, even though you're not really trying. It's the like the, like on a ledge or something like that. It you becomes like, like switch yeah, crook. 180 switch. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it's like it just becomes a switch crook when it's like I'm not riding switch. I'm just going backwards. Mm-hmm. Not that but I can again, do it, but it, like looking at it, like it's the naming of semantics. tricks. It totally is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's why I don't know. Cause I don't know. I, sp- I think in my head I spend too much time thinking of these stupid, you know, the difference of these things when it's really just the trick. Yeah, just have fun. Totally. And, but the same thing with like fakey five O's, fakey nose grind. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mm-hmm. When you change it up to switch, it seems so. Maybe that's why. Maybe I do end up doing some switch tricks inadvertently mm-hmm. because I don't think of it that way. But if you were to break it down, maybe that is what I'm doing on some things. I don't know. Maybe switch. No, I don't think so. So speaking of shows and other podcasts, have you guys ever heard of this one? The Powell movement? No, I just, I it's an action sense. sports podcast. No, it's a guy named Mike Powell. I don't, I don't, I haven't heard of it too much and I don't know if he has any relation to Powell, like Powell Peralta. Right. But this dude, this latest episode. So I just realized, I mean, I just kind of caught wind of them because they've got this interview with, um, I Car- like their, Cardiel. I like, oh, dude. So it's rad. great to hear Cardiel. All hell. Just talking about the whole, awesome. his whole upbringing, and then up to now and stuff. Just getting a a a, a good story of what he's about from him now is really pretty cool. So I like, I, I like the way that graphic looks. It's um, it's like an old time Mikey microphone. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the crab board. The Powell Movement Action Sports, but um, yeah. So I mean, I would definitely look. They've been at it for a while. They've got uh twenty five episodes, but they're okay. they do seasons. Okay. I don't get the seasons. Look, it goes to F49, yeah. then it starts again. Season two. Okay, so maybe they do 50 episodes a season? Maybe they're like contracted out to a season. I have no idea. I'm just right. saying I'm just kind of picking up. Now I'm going to start cherry picking through some of these old interviews probably. But this mo- the most recent one, John Cardiel, pretty That's cool. Good. You should I, check I it actually, out. Actually, yeah, I will get. Yeah, and it's a podcast. You can subscribe right on iTunes mm-hmm. or wherever you're at. I need a new one. I went through all mine. Yeah. But that's a definitely a good one. Did you see? Okay, so like I'm just kind of going through our Facebook thing. I post some recent things on uh, the Barn Burner crew, but just because uh, it's just a fun place to share. But there's some crazy stuff going on. So this dude is coming up and I don't know, comfortably f- ollieing up to a one foot Manny. But the other that's like a yo- it's over. like a yoga pose. It's mm-hmm. balance, yeah. you know. That guy's got the the moves. But you know what I think? When I see that, I think well, I did say Jason Parks already, but I think of like. Uh, Chris Haslam. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. This guy though, look at he did it with the. Did he switch feet? Oh no, it's just no, re- it's repeating. Just in front, I don't. In front of it seems so hard though. And then he nolly flips out of another yeah, man. Yeah, then he goes nose yeah. and nolly flip out. That was really good. So, it, oh, dude. Oh. All right, so go skate day is today. I can't believe this is actually reality, and nobody's. Um, I haven't seen a, a cause of death, but dude, Mark Hubbard, 
just died like last week. It's so crazy. I know that. I, I mean, I've talked to him on, I've chatted with him on Facebook back and forth. He lets me use his music. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like we've been to a bunch of his parks. Yeah, a bunch, bunch of his parks. I mean, I've seen all the documentaries. I've never gotten a chance to meet him or skate on, with him or anything like that. But everybody that's got anything to say about him is just nothing but like the dude was awesome. Mm-hmm. My age too. Mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy that like uh, I don't know. Some of these deaths these days are like accidental overdose. Or hanging themselves. I mean, I don't know. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to even speculate, but it's just like when they don't say right away what happened, it's like, oh, the family's trying to keep it down because yeah. it's like, sucks. Yeah. So the I just, thing. So, yeah. And, so I just really bummed the, about it, even though I don't know the guy. They it's just, just such a sad that park thing. In Sheboygan. Yeah. So I'm going there on Saturday. That they're having their grand there. opening on Saturday. But so they've claimed they're trying to, like, Grindline, which is, you know, Grindline the band and Grindline the skate parks. They're proclaiming here the 22nd as Mark like Mark Hubbard Day. I don't know if that's going to be an everyday thing, and I don't think it's going to. Al- I don't know if it always will end up landing right after Go Skate Day. Mm-hmm. How that's going to end up working out, but tomorrow, dude, is supposed to be like go skate a Grindline Park if you can, and if you're at one, I guess there's some celebrations, some you know, that's different cool. Grindline Parks. Cool. You know, I mean, he was the guy that. Too bad we're going Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's not that close. Uh-huh. But uh, I thought I, I thought the Portage Park was a Grindline Park, but then I learned that Grindline designed it, but California Park uh, Skate Parks built it. Okay. But I saw that. She- but I wonder if that's the same case with Sheboygan. I think Grindline no, built. Grindline they built, built that one. Yeah, because that was like on their page of right. like, trucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, you not- never have you been to either of those? No. Portage is pretty cool, but uh, Sheboygan that's a it's got a. Pretty, it's like, got a nice bowl. I guess I yeah, like I Portage better, but I didn't. For my style, I like Portage of, better, just because it's got I was more for me love to skate. Sheboygan because of that like high ledge, low ledge, mm-hmm. but it's so hard. You have to get on and off so quick. Do they still have the metal park, Sheboygan? No, no, they tore it down. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I don't know if it was in the same spot, but it looked like maybe it was in that parking lot in the distance I think from it's it. Fine. Uh, but yeah, they, I mean, those nothing great was really there. But no, and the ramps they're they don't, they're not around. Dude, the first time I went there, it was midsummer, hot. Oh, if you dude. fell, you'd burn, right? You burn. Mm. I hate the sound you of burn. a metal park you too. Like you the clicky clack. Your skin. Oh my god. Have you ever been up? to the little shoot park? No. It's kind. It's kind of similar vibe. Hmm. Metal. Uh huh. That just, like that kind of like flexes. Yeah. yeah. The West Bend is metal, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was just telling him the West Bend one is off. I know. I was thinking of like, what would it take for me to get involved with like, I know some people in the city council for West Bend to like just get involved to like try to get a cement park here. Mm. I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Yeah, but, but it or or like. But I just wonder if there's a skate. Or maybe uh, we we should like talk to them about like doing something in that spot. I, of course, I mean that would have yeah. to be. The sp- it's just so much money. There's so much yeah. legwork to get that. Because it's trash now. Like those are. I've never skated it. I've never gone never there to. S- never okay. gone I there to skate. I used to live it. in West Bend. So Every time I would I... drive by it, I would, I would never would have my board. But I would always see scooters there. You know, I've looked at it. I've met people there, but I've never skated it. Mm-hmm. And it's the closest skated park to there me. With Matt. Mm. Just like by accident, we like. Matt was thinking of coming out here today, but possibly oh, yeah. I'm not sure. He hasn't got back to me, but maybe. Well, what's the oh, yeah, plan so, today? Yeah, so go skate day. Yeah, so so it's go skate day. Then it's gonna flow at midnight into Mark Hubbard day. Terrific. So, and we're doing. I'm gonna play. Sesh. I'll play. I'll play a, a grindline song at the end of this episode. How's that? Great, dude. It's just a bummer. Just play it right now. And come I have down. um. Where did I, I have them around here? He sent me some. Uh, Grindline uh, stickers where the logo of him like holding a shovel and a guitar mm-hmm. or something like that. You know, it's like that dude is hardcore. Yeah, didn't he have I that? I loved like, his all tattoos, black band? dude. You know, he's got that tattoo style like he like I have the Inuit, mm-hmm. but it was the salmon on his neck mm-hmm. looking at each other. I love that. Like, I don't like that, tattoos on the neck band, that right? often. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. full on like cement skate like band it like opened in the bottom and had like tools and shit. But yeah, but they could play out of it. Mm-hmm. The whole band could yeah, play right cool. out of it. It was pretty awesome. I mean, it's still there, but mm-hmm. it's the band. It's grind. I mean, it sucks, dude. No more grindline music. No more P Stone. Like this yeah. year has been heavy for the skate no more family. Anthony Bourdain. He didn't skate, but he was cool. Well, we could. I mean, there's a lot of people that died this year. I'm just talking about two yeah, skate. Who cares two about the, them? Anthony who cares Bourdain. about them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about people in the skate world. Anthony Bourdain. I mean, that's a bummer too. But you know, I don't know, dude. Hanging yourself. That's a bummer. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother episode. Did you see any of this? Have you seen Never yet from Primitive? Yes. I did yes, not I did. see the whole thing yet. I watched like part of. Uh, Thrasher Carlos didn't have it, right? Part, I think. No, it was. I believe it was just up on Primitive. Yeah, just on Primitive. YouTube. But um, 
So I've only seen some of these parts, but then all of a sudden I saw P Rod on his oh, per it's on his personal page, but it's like fifteen minutes of his raw footage of him trying Incredible. P Rod is so good. Incredible. So good. <laughs> I was listening was, to the, the thing is like he's always been that good and now that's just like I don't even know how to explain. Like the tricks he does are intense. Memory in his feet already mm -hmm. that he can still elevate where he's at is in, is incredible at his age. Yeah, but I think you're still... assuming that he hasn't skated since you last saw a video. No, 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 of him. no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, like he probably skates every day. That's yeah. what he does. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just incredible to me that he can keep. I agree, progressing, man. Progressing, keep like taking all those slants. And he's keeping all that off Instagram. That's why yeah. it was such a big deal is that all of a sudden you see this part come out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Chris Roberts was, I was just listening to that experience today and he's just kind of like, yeah, that dude lied to me. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like on, you know, he said he would never put a part out. And what do they call this? Oh, that's ne right. Never. That's. So that's a little, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, dude, I'm working. He's like, I'm working that. on crazy parts. You ain't going to look at uh, nothing in, yet. And in insane. Yeah, that was gnarly. And like. After you sent me the remastered of his part, mm -hmm. I think I totally, because of all the other skating, I think I totally glossed over. I'm like, oh, it's P-Rod. Yeah. Seeing this. But his tricks are gnarly. In insane. That backside flip he did off that, that, that bump to, like, that loading dock thing. No, that was full cab flip. A full cab flip, I mean. Insane. Yeah. And to come, you know, too, he's the kind of guy that puts on a, a clean shirt often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Changing it out. Yeah. yeah. But I, I mean... How old is he now? Above 30? Yeah, I think he's 30, 30 something. Something like that. To take those coming I'm not in sure. so fast over that bump, to take, like, just watching that. Did you watch any of the remastered? No. Just just seeing those clips is. 33. 33 is insane. Like, it's so crazy. The and the tricks he, he does are so, and, and the ones that he just blows in and out of too that are like that yeah, you can tell so that didn't easy. yeah it didn't take a lot of work are just so good. Anyways. Yeah, he, that's the yeah. that's the P Rod hour. I mean, it, I mean we that knew dude he is so was good. good, but just blew my mind once Do again. you see this guy? Um who is it? It's Sidewalk magazine posted it. Alexander Rizvad dropping a very rarely seen ledge move in Paris in the middle of Cloud of Lurker. So like crazy Paris traffic. Uh huh. Front nose blunt. To nolly flip, that's messed up, and just cruise, and then look so at this. Chill this, on that. you know what though? What make? I think what impresses me even more, like that, is a gnarly trick on the, the ledge, tray. dude. It's the tray and the backside flip afterwards because look how close he is to these people. Right behind R him. Right behind, like, dude, tray flip. I'd have taken her feet out. Oh yeah. Backside flip. Oh, there goes everybody sitting on that bench. <laughs> like, come on, that, that to have that kind of confidence mm -hmm. to just be able to do that in traffic. That is. That's a very cool trick. Yeah. Uh, when I was in Kentucky, the guy, a guy from home, mm -hmm. was trying that, but backside flip out of the blunt. Hmm. Jeez, uh, but, uh, man, front nose blunt on that ledge. That's so gnarly. The board is so steep to kick out and flip that thing. I just mm -hmm. don't even get it. I really want to learn front blunts. The physics. I feel like this kind of that... stuff must blow the minds off of scientists that working oh, on yeah. like physics or like NASA, whatever, <laughs> How? jet propulsion. Like they must just be like. That must freak them out. Did the way that it? we're like manipulating gravity. Are you the one that sent me that Rodney Mullen click with that, gr that oh, yeah. girl? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. She was oh, the science was nerd great. breaking down Rodney Mullen's tricks and just being like, I how, love and, the phone. And how, and how Rodney knew the scientific properties of it all as he explained it. He, he was, was teaching her. Uh, the impossible and yeah. the way it flips. Because and he was like, it's a, there's a natural. It phone yeah. And it'll like turn. There's, there's an, a natural effect. I forget the name of it, but you, it's hard to rotate something 360 without it flipping naturally. Mm -hmm. So that's why the impossible was called it's it because like, you're keeping it flat. Do you see um, God, so who cool. was it? Some, there was a clip of somebody. Was it Cookie or somebody? But uh, with like these really tall front foot impossibles. Mm -hmm. That was just like making the rounds yesterday. But like he just pops so high, Sean just Pablo. rotates it on the front foot. Sean Pablo so crazy. On, uh, nine, is he on Esc nine Pablo seven? Escobar? No. <laughs> really? He still skates? <laughs> But yeah, that's yeah, so. I mean, just the 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 frame that they use as a thumbnail on this has got that board so vertical. Mm -hmm. like, I don't get how you think you're gonna flip out of that, and then he does. Can you do blunt slides? <laughs> did, you, did you see this juice pack I found? <laughs> that's pretty funny. I mean, I love Tread that. The, the I love that skateboarding is kind of infiltrating everywhere, but that's really kind of silly on a Capri Sun. And this little kid getting down. At least it's not a scooter. Yeah, that's true. You yeah, know? we can all we can all be happy about that. Yeah, for sure. Coming soon though. 
<laughs> Here was another uh, crazy one. We could probably start wrapping this up, but dude, I'm just looking through all these things I've been posting. And what is this? Is that like a full cab flip front foot impossible? Casper? Is full it a Casper? Casper? Jeez, whips it around. But it's like oh, that impossible, but way. but horizontal. Speaking of a Casper, I went to the park the other day, and I thought that trick was going to be, su- you know, that bank wall? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought a backside cat just like, you know, under flip and then flip yeah. back. I thought that was going to be so easy, and mm. that's fucking hard as shit. Yeah. The easiest tricks that you see are the hardest, I think. I don't know why I thought that was going to, like... Or where people can just going. add their flair or style. Like, when you like when I see, you see airs, and they just get boned out, and you're just like, Cater. how do you have the time and the air to mm. also tweak it? Cater. Have you seen Cater getting these backside airs? Like, yes. he is learning those have you so seen him smooth. On Woodward? Dude, I want those backside airs so bad. Mm-hmm. I just want to be able to float a back backside air. Me too. That's all I really want in life. The backside 50s, I'm I'm in the 50s. I got those comfortable where I'm good. Five front sides, I'm good. I just want to be able to float a little bit of air. You'd Comfortably. Go, you'd be going front side if you went transitioned to little one, right? If uh, you went vert to little one. But you could go uh, the in other, the barn? Yeah. Yeah, that's front side or the other side is back side. So I could do like it on either side. Back side air. What I want to try to do first is I think I want to try to do like maybe body jar down to down it. I don't know I just got I just got to do backside airs. Right. I just got to do it. Well, I guess we should all just go do it. Yeah. So let's uh, wrap let's this go up. Skate day. Hey, Cole. Thanks for uh, hanging out, being on the show today. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Happy go skate day. Thanks, dude. It was Happy terrific. Go skate day. We didn't get that. We you were angry you know before the show. The what? I'll if, I'll get it. What are you gonna get? We were angry before the show. Cole oh, I'll was, get you angry Cole again. Was working me up. I'll get you angry. I just, there's a couple of words that'll trigger hey, you. You gotta try. Um, <laughs> your regular no complies. No complies. Yeah. God. There Dude, we go. you guys do not want to see me do a tray flip. It's so fucking ugly. All right, let's let's end this show on that. <laughs> All right, buddy. Love go you. skate day. Love you, dude. Thanks, Cole, for being here. Yes, happy go skate day, everybody. We're gonna June go 21st. get some. Hopefully, you go get some. Ciao. <laughs>